This video was made with free time possible via my Patreon. As I'm not able to be a full-time content creator as of yet, the Patreon allows me to take time off of my other jobs to make content, specifically for YouTube. If you want to find out how you can help make more content available not only here, but in other places around the web, check out the link. It'll be at the top of the description. Thanks to everyone who has supported me in this way so far, and I look forward to creating more new and amazing content for all to enjoy. That's a huge issue in my city. And we are not doing well. So now we just got climbing the ladder achievement. We'll check all these after the fact, but you can see them ticking up right there at the bottom corner. We are indeed climbing the ladder. I'm gonna put a landfill over here on this side of town. Uh, that way we can have garbage collection on this end. It'll de-stress the trucks on that end from these two. That way they can focus over here on the residences. You can see the trash cans and the six starting to go away. Uh, healthcare. We may need to add another, yeah, we have a lot of sick citizens because of the garbage. So let's add another hospital. That should help out with some people. And yeah, this is a, an oversight of mine. Should not have happened. We don't need more than that. They'll get taken care of as the average health goes back up again. We're just going to have a lot of dead people. We're going to have a, a, a miniature death wave that we're going to have to take care of. That means that's going to fill up really quick. For now, though, the focus is 30,000 to build an incinerator. It's going to increase our electricity gain. We can still build roads in the meantime. And we're going to spin around. And it's going to be fun. Here, uh, we're going to put some garbage facilities and... Maybe some offices to start off, which is the, the heavy industrial. They'll start helping us with the transition to being a green greener city. All right, there's still some sick people here waiting for the ambulance to come pick them up, which they just did. We have 50 less sick citizens than before. I can build another one for safekeeping. But we just hit 30,000 and we really need to take care of our garbage first. That's going to up our processing status even more. Take some more stress off the landfills. $30,000 steps at a time. Commercial has a demand. And they have abandoned houses. Let's see if they can demo that house and try again. Now you could, have, uh, you could delete abandoned houses yourself with the bulldozer. But they eventually take back over and build. What this does is it lowers land value. So if you're having a hard time getting people to move in, you can just delete that. But they're gonna, it's going to replace itself here soon. There's enough demand for it to happen. I wonder if this road should be more straightforward. Because people cars are having to turn here, so it slows traffic down. But I think once we get more redundancy, that should be okay. The building got replaced, and now we're sitting happy. Commercial demand increasing. We got 30,000 again. We need another incinerator. I'm going to bounce it over here and put it next to this power plant. So one more will put us probably high yellow, low green. And this increases our electricity output as well. We can bring that budget down, start making a little bit more money if we want to. It's not going to bring it down by a lot, but it's per week. Just keeping these guys from leveling up. Educate more citizens, sure. So that's an overtime. How is our education? Everything's perfect. Still covered. I think I want to buy a tile. Which tile do I want to buy? This will give us another interstate connection which will be great for the interstate to come off and have less stress. That would do the same thing. This would give us train access. There's like really not a long, wrong way to go. We just got a small city, which gives us an influx of cash. And what do we need that for? Incinerators. I just remembered. So now we've got rolling in the dough achievement, which is probably 10,000 or more per week. Our garbage status processing is now in the green. 
which will help alleviate some of the stress off of our landfills. We can go ahead and empty those. That way they stay at a, at a lower amount over time. How's our health care? Health care, we got 358 sick citizens now. Uh, we can afford probably this big hospital. That's going to be what's going to take care of everything because it holds 500. I don't think we need it just yet. I think we're ready to buy a tile. Hmm. Going this way gets us more residential, so let's go this way first. Also gets us the train. So here we can just go out this way. And every 2,000, we'll just pop over a road. And this will start our residential expansion. Just like that. We'll come down a little bit, go all the way down. And this, was, this is all going to be dense residential. This is going to be big boys. Because then we're going to have a small commercial area here with a train. And we might, might do an industrial area over here with a train. See the demand increase because we got more land. I'm going to move that school or that police station over one block. Makes them simultaneously sad and happy at the same time. They have no idea what's going on. We need water pipes back here before I start building doing anything. We have a sewage issue. All these guys don't have power. That would make sense. Okay, so water pipes for all. Down the chute. That's for future expansions. Maybe we can just come down these lock at 90 degree angles, which is great. And we place all the houses for them to live. Here they come. This is going to be a huge swath of population. I'm going to get prepared and build a couple of schools. We're also going to need fire stations and police stations. Fire station we can probably put down here. We might be able to replace that one with a large one and just take care of everyone at one time. But I think they're the same tile space. They're not. This one's a larger tile space. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Okay. Well, our garbage needs are going to increase as well, which is why we're going to put an industrial zone over here next to the interstate. And they're going to need to man the garbage. That way we can connect to this part of the city and pick up the trash. I do want to continue on over here. That way we can kind of get the industrial zone lined up and prepared. So this is going to be the next block. That one's the next block. We're going to ignore this for the train. So we're going to go under. But I do still want to see where it's going to end up because we, we want the train to... So like technically, let me go up. So there, there, and here. So I'm gonna go back down. And that's where this will be our tunnel. Both ends. So delete this road. And this will be down here. Perfect. The train's still going to run through my town just a little bit, but at least there it's separated enough to make sense. I can probably make it to where it doesn't run at all through any of it. We would have to take a road and kind of run it. Go freeform like this and follow the train down like that. I could I could feasibly do that, but it wouldn't it would look weird. But it would also look good at the same time. I'm not worried about it. We can also just take the train and redraw it to make it more fitting for our city. But it's okay. 
Having it having it rock through like that never hurt anybody. Up and over. And then here's gonna be our interchange that gets cars over to this point. So we're gonna go 1600, that should be 1600. And then this should connect all the way down to here, as intended. But now we're not able to go underground can go underground here probably right yep perfect okay that probably is gonna work better 16 and that one is gonna go under connect there perfect So the reason why I'm doing this now is because we're going to get this interstate connection started. So this is going to be off here and on here. We're using the straight road tool. I don't like doing that. Oops. I also have the height on like the highest step, which is which is by default. So I'm not going to fault the game for that. But it's really not great to build your things on that because you can make a mess if you're not careful. That's going to reach city limits. I can probably make a more relaxed turn. Slope too steep. I'm literally going... So yeah, let's change the step of this. Let's bring this down just a hair. It won't let me. Okay. Delete that. Uh, we'll redraw it. Because we got the better steps on now. We'll make it work, darn it. Space occupied. So right there comes across. Here comes down and right. Perfect. We'll leave it like that. So there's an interstate off and on there. Here comes cars going that direction. So it's already being used. Now they're gonna have, they're gonna pass through the residences, which is gonna be a no-no. And they're not gonna like that. But at the same time, we don't really have a choice right now. We have 141,000. We've accrued a, a massive piggy bank. So at this point, we have enough money to do whatever we need to do. We just can't do any major interstate work. So we're going to lay that out. Probably get the train station going. Get some more residences moved in. We have a commercial and an industrial demand to be expected with the massive amount of residences we just put in. So I'll pop that over, and then this will just run all the way down. Water, make sure our water is good to go, all the way down to here. I'm gonna build some more pumps to take care of that. Okay, I'm going to go out this way just a hair, out 2,000, this is where, we, where our trash is going to be, so I want to put in a landfill, an incinerator, that's going to help us with processing, I need water, the one place I don't have water pipes. <laughs> There we go. So that's going to run and do their own thing there. Uh, industrial demand. We'll put some stinky here. That way they have something to look forward to. Can I put offices here? I'll put some offices here and see what happens. It's totally going to be up to them. I'm going to put some light commercial here. And some heavier commercial. Not behind. I don't want, I'm not ready for heavier commercial yet. I'm scared of it. So we'll do that to protect the noise pollution from the residences because for the oncoming train that we're going to be building. I don't think we have enough for the train yet. And we do. Okay. But I don't think we're going to be using it for people. I think we're going to be using it for cargo more than anything else. 
So let's do that. Let's make it for cargo. Pause the game. Whenever we make a huge infrastructure change like this, I like pausing the game. First time we paused it in a while. Uh, go ahead and put that train there. And then we're gonna connect the rails. It's gonna it's gonna be a little weird. We can probably S it like this. And then that one can go there. That's gonna need power. It's gonna complain about power. Uh, we can probably just put a wind turbine here and take care of these little guys for now. They have water, they have electricity. Then as they build out, we can connect to the rest of the city. And then in the meantime, I can just do that and grow more people. So police, we're going to need some money. We can take that, we can pay back this, it gives us 15,000, we have 80 grand. So I can make big police station. Right here that's gonna make everyone happy and gives us more jail space our garbage collection is gonna take care of this part of the city and we're gonna need fire here soon I'll put a little fire station here it looks like we're gonna need it there I can put one here make the citizens in that part of the town happy and we got high-tech housing now high-tech housing that's gonna cause a huge spike in Upgrade arrows. Here they go. There's one. There's another one. Usually there's more than this. Maybe they're let there. You see the houses building. Maybe they're just not showing the arrows. They still want people educated, probably. The land value is good. Lots of houses are leveling up. There they go. Word, word across the street has gathered and people are now excited about putting solar panels on their homes. So now you got homes like this with the fancy solar panels on top. Yeah, homes here with fancy solar panels on top. They're into the new tech age. Big city. Uh, we just unlocked crematoriums, I believe, which is what we're gonna need now more than anything. We got death care and child care here, or elder care. We haven't really been using them a lot. This is part of the Sunset DLC. I think it was included though as a free update. So we're gonna use those in the city. And you can see everyone being excited and happy now. Crematoriums are gonna be great. They're like the waste, they're like incinerators for the landfills, except for they're for people. It helps clear the cemeteries out. That way we can take in more people. It's a process. Okay, the city cities is hustling and bustling on this end of town. We can move our zones over, our blocks. How far over? Let's go test it out here. That's two. And then we can come out another one there that's fine i still want to do commercial around the train even though it's an industrial train bringing in goods making the cars panic and run like run like little bees everywhere my hope is for them to go to the interstate and use the interstate but they're not going to do that they're going to run through town straight down the road and cause headaches for everybody who lives here Oh no, the traffic is so horrible. Let's come down another one. We can go across three. And go down to 2,000. Then we can come across three more. Let's do this side now. So that side we can't do anymore. Uh, we can't do that side either. So it has to come down to here. 2,000. And then maybe here to 2,000, yep. And then to there for 2,000. Yep, it's just a mirror of the other one. Awesome. That's good for us though, it keeps the train out of the way. We can put some trees and stuff there if you felt in a detailing mood. Or if you wanted to add beautification to your city, which there's nothing wrong with. We're going to choose not to do that right now. Uh, 
Uh, that didn't look right at all. Okay, so wait, I just butchered this whole thing. You see how the road just went crooked just then? Something happened here that we need to address. Okay, let me make sure that we go straight down. Oh, see right there? Okay, so it's, it's messed up even there. Let's try this again. 1960. Really? That's not even full length. Hmm. Two thousand forty. Interesting. Okay, so that that's not a full tile. That's what the discrepancy was. All right. Well, I mean that's fine. At least we got it fixed. Actually, it's messing up there too now. I wonder why. See how it goes up and then clicks down. I'm gonna stop it there. That way it doesn't happen in the future. That one doesn't click. I think this whole tile was built incorrectly. It could be the hill too. If I come from this direction, we'll do the same thing. There, there it is clicking up. I save it for the last little bit. That way a lot of it doesn't get messed up. Look at that. Interesting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could just be a hill issue. I'm not that worried about it at the end of the day. How smart are our people? We need we need schools. They're not smart at all. So I'm gonna do this to kind of bridge a power gap across the way. I'll we'll also put schools here. They're competing elementary schools. They're they're angry at each other. This actually gives us space for high schools without trying. So that's good. I should have put one there. We can move this school. That way we can save space for the high school there. And then university. We're going to be good for university probably until the end of this build. We, we could put another one in. Uh, commercial. Grand City. Awesome. Grand City didn't really give us anything more. I don't think. Maybe some more power plant options. But that's another milestone. The last milestone is going to be Megalopolis, which we've got a little bit to go. Industrial. Put some offices there. We'll go over here to commercial and we'll, we'll hug the train still like we've been doing. That should assist us with getting the commercial demand taken care of, and then we just put more houses in. We're in Operation Spam Houses at the moment. If I go this way, is it 4,000? It's 4,000 to there. I think I might actually do that and change how we're running our roads. But I think this is going to be more fruitful for space. I say that as the coastline's running out. I think it's still going to be fine, though. And then here. Oh, that could be the, the hang-up. Well, we, we, we moved over, so now we can go 4,000 again. It just won't be lined up, which I'm okay with. Because it's going to be residences for the most part. Cool. And then over here, see that's messed up there too. See the line? This whole thing just trickled down and made a mess. Boo! Not a fan of that in the slightest. So at this moment now, we're making a ton of money. Let's check and see if people are, are upset about something or have a concern. Increase the value of the land. Okay, so they want more land value. Our landfills are good to go, which means we don't have any garbage issues with them being full, so it's not a bad thing that we had them turned off. Processing status is barely keeping up. So we'll put a couple more over here. 
put three on that side of town. I'll put two on this side of town. Now our processing is, is unmatched, unwavered. We have interstate connections in three parts now. I do want to make another one over here. The city's laid out, ready for expansion. We need to take care of probably jails. Yep. Jails capacity is getting low. So we'll put a police station here. Grab a fire station. I'm going to delete this and replace it with the larger one now since we got the money for it. We'll cover more space for less space. Because it's one building versus multiple. 27% fire hazard. We only got $30,000 left. We got the big loan, I think. Yeah. We got the big, big loan. Let's check our power. Power is going to be important. We don't have nukes yet, but we do have the solar updraft. Solar updraft is the next logical step. And electricity, we're going to put it right here. At least try to. Can't build on top of water. Not with that attitude, you can't. I'm going to flatten. Thank you all for watching another video of mine here on YouTube. My name is Taradra, and I stream on Twitch.tv five days per week. Check the links below, find out the schedule, and hopefully I see you there. Let me know that you came from YouTube as well, wherever you are around the world, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.